All right, so on these tow hooks, it turned out that the nut that I had to pick up at Tractor Supply here uh, turned out to be a 12 by 175. And uh, I also picked up this uh, Tractor Gloss Black paint. paint. And it uh, says that you have to wait 24 hours between coats which means that it is the real deal. So we'll go ahead and paint these up over the next couple of days and get it rolling. All right, so I'm under the Explorer here in the front. We're gonna take out these push pins right here, this one and that one, and uh, remove the tow hook cover. You can see that I've already removed the other side here and we're good to go. All right, so here you can see what you're working with here. I've already got um, the bolts installed here. Uh, the way this is set up, I'm just using those nuts and I was able to slip them through here. I initially took off the bolts right here um, so that I could squeeze back the bumper slightly um, to slip them in and I did that, but I realized I didn't need it because you can slip through bolts right through that hole and line it up. So. There she is. We're going to get her tightened down. All right, here's what the magic solution was. Um, to tighten the bolts, I go ahead and, ahead and slipped a 17 millimeter wrench up through that hole there to lock the nut on the back. And I'm using a 15 to tighten the bolt here. Uh, your sizes might be different because I purchased these nuts on the other side from Tractor Supplies. So, uh, but it's working. All right, we've got the tow hooks installed. These came off of a uh, Ford Expedition or an F-150, and uh, they mounted up perfectly. Set to go.